part of Thailand. He has a total of 78 fights, 61 victories, 14 losses, and 3 draws. In his group stage fights, he had a KO victory against Big Boom Sit Chan Singh, a KO victory against Seo Pan Get Malai Tong, and a KO victory against The Rock Go Sai Gan Wen. Or Gan Wen? Wen? <laughs> <laughs> the Rock Go Sai Gan Wen. There we go. There you can see the tail of the tape for this semi final. Ninpet, six years the elder, has one more victory to his name. However, Tong Chai has one less loss. Yeah, it's actually The Rock goes like on when. So just just to make it clear, but yes, The Rock was in this tournament. <laughs> he was, and he was, <laughs> he performed um, not so well. Not great. No. <laughs> Back to Hollywood. Very pebble like. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, the winner of this will face Suk Sawat. It'd be nice if Suk Sawat was here tonight, and he is. I'll tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, and he is. if you have a chance to be here at the TIE Fight Arena on the 8th of October, it is going to be an amazing show. It's going to be filled, and you get to witness the Isuzu Cup Final. And if you are not in Bangkok, then don't forget to join us for that day and every week on Sunday for TIE Fight League. We will be here taking you through the action, of course, every single Sunday. And the referee in charge for this fight is referee Pukit Prambrayun. Judges at ringside are Judge Tawan Ying Ubon, Judge Somshai Kohotong, and Judge Siprat Chumsuk. And like I said, Suksawat is here. He's watching the action from ringside. And I'm hoping, I don't know if there is or not, I'm hoping there will be a face-off. Oh, it's going to be beautiful. And for those at home who wants to know what the prize is, you get 500,000 baht in prize money. You get a new Isuzu D-Max Spark. And of course, you get the beautiful Isuzu Cup belt. And of course, you also get to fight in the Isuzu Cup Super Fight later in the year on Thai Fight. Let's not forget, though, who Tong Chai Pedrung has in his corner. If we want to talk about the elites of elite of Muay Thai, if we want to talk about the legends of legends in Muay Thai, he has D. Cell Noi in his corner. Ask anyone who their top five fighters of all time are, and usually D. Cell Noi is in there. Oh, yes. And he gave us a little wave and a Y. Yes, and, and we uh, are now more than, more than happy. Exactly. This has made our night. Good team there from Tong Chai Pedro Room. So I forget Tong Chai. He hasn't won by knockout yet in this tournament. He has, he's had two fights, as we mentioned earlier. He came in as a replacement. As for his opponent, though, Nin Pen, winning by knockout in every single fight he's fought so far. That's right. Three, three fights, three knockouts. Sorry, took the words right out of your mouth, Aaron. No, you did. And the reason why that Tong Chai only has two fights is because he was actually in a replacement fight for the tournament. So the two fights, he actually was in the runner-up in his group. That yeah, wasn't easy for Tong Chai because he hadn't fought for quite a while, but then he made his return in the Isuzu Cup tournament whilst they were already going. And we saw a bit of ring rust, but as he kept on fighting, he started to look better and better. Absolutely. Both fighters looking in tremendous shape for this matchup, as you would expect. Ninpet, even though he has got three fights with three knockouts to his name, to be honest, he will probably be the underdog in this fight because of the name that Tong Chai does have. The name and the experience, Absolutely, it counts for a lot in Muay Thai. Good left kick to the body there by Tong Chai. Like in other martial arts, they base it on what sort of belt you have, and that's, you know, sort of what level you're at. In nice. Thailand, it's based on who you fought and how many fights oh, you fought. Oh, beautiful right hand there from Tong Chai! And then Brad is down! And as they say, in Thai, he's looking a little bit drunk right now. He has knocked down the knockout artist. Wow, did not see that coming, Aaron. Absolutely unbelievable, and now he's going to try to finish him off. You said it, Kevin. He might have been suffering from rug, uh, ring rust in his previous two fights, but right now he's looking like the old Tom Chai. Yes! My goodness, what an opening round. Let's not forget where Tom Chai came from. He came from Pet Rung Rung Gym. The same gym that Won Chai was made. The same gym Pet Rung Tong was made. And of course, PTT. End of round number one. Wow. Stay
Well, let's have a look at the highlights from that opening round. There was one big highlight, and that was by Tong Chai. There it is, swinging left. But it was that second right hand over the top that connected, and down went Ninpen. What a beautiful strike that was. Never thought I'd see Ninpen go down, Aaron. But it finally happened at the hands of Tong Chai, Pet Rung Rung. Completely destroyed his equilibrium, but he was able to get back to his feet. And he's already standing up in the corner right now. <laughs> Good saw... stoppage for the ref. It was. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, here we go, round number two. Oh, left hook there from Tom Chai. His hands are faltering right now. Seems like Din Pen is still started from that first round. He's trying to hold on for dear life at this moment, and Tom Chai desperately trying to go to work on his opponent. Both fighters looking for left jabs. Tom Chai is on fire. You know, we, we did say that Tom Chai, he had to, oh, he had to turn it up. He had to turn it up for the semi-finals and he's doing exactly just yeah, that. He looks phenomenal. The yes. best I've seen him in a long time. Going through the gears right now. There's that right hand once again, but this time to the chin. Nick Pet takes it in the clinch. Maneuvering around, not able to find any strikes. Nick Pet finds a little knee, but that won't bother Tonchai. Oh, left hand! Just a jab! That absolutely wobbled. In head. Doesn't look like he's recovered, does it really? Oh, there's a cut now on the left eye of Dinpet. This has turned into a nightmare for him. Wow, and a very dangerous spot as well. There's two cuts, in fact. Oh, no. I don't think it could go on, Aaron. Oh, there's no goodness. way. I mean, we saw how the first fight was stopped. I think it's going to be the same for this one. I don't really want it to end like this, but I don't think the doctor, doctor says okay. Oh, hey. Well, he's on borrowed time, but Dinpet. Let's have a little bit of relief right now. Nin Pen has to turn it up oh, right now. Oh, long, that right hand once again. And referee. that is it. That's going in. Tom Chai is going through to the final of the 32nd Isuzu Cup. Date booked October 8th. Don't miss it. What a fight that's going to be. Sucks so much, Sang Marigot. Taking on Tom Chai, Pen Rum Rum. Amazing performance. Like we said, in, his, in the group stages, he was suffering from that ring rust, but my goodness, when he had to bring the fire here tonight in the semi-final. Look at his handiwork once again in both the first and the second round. There's that elbow slicing and dicing. Ninpet. Just a masterful performance by Tong Chai. And now, it just sets up this final perfectly. Two fighters in the peak. It, are gonna go head to head. It was a phenomenal performance. Like I said earlier, that was the best of Tong Chai that I've seen in a long time. Absolutely, couldn't agree more. And the referee doing exactly what he needed to do and step in, saving Ning Pen. Oh. Honestly, the strikes of Tom Chai. One Masterful. word to describe that performance. Phenomenal. Phenomenal, absolutely. All right, let's get the official confirmation of the result from our MC in the ring. The winner by technical knockout. White Corner, Tong Chai Pet, Rung Rung!